Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. All right, folks, in this episode, we're gonna go over what I believe to be the truth behind the difference when it comes to slow pitch jigging and using a solid ring on the end of your leader or using a barrel swivel at the end of your leader. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grab this angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, so like I said, we're gonna have a little bit of information discussing what I think the difference between using the solid ring on the end of your leader for slow pitch jigging and using the barrel swivel at the end of your leader is. Both of these are consistently used methods of how you attach your lure to the end of your leader. Both are proven to work. There is long-standing theories that one creates a lot of line twist when you're dropping down and jigging. That would be the solid ring because there's no way to relieve the twisting of the lure from the line as it's spinning. You're just on a solid ring. And then the theory behind using a barrel swivel, which I'll give some demonstrations of here in a minute, is that it relieves the winding of your lure, your jig, as it's dropping down because you've got this spinning capability of the swivel. So we're gonna cover this information and show you the differences right here. But I gather my information through doing extensive amounts of slow pitch jigging. Every trip I head out, I make sure I get some slow pitch jigging in. Way out deep, in well over a thousand feet of water, in that 800 foot range, all the way to up over the reef and you know, a buck 50 to 100 feet. And I've caught a lot of slow pitch jigging. And that is what's brought me to this point of wanting to have this open discussion about, hey, what is the difference between using the solid ring only at the end of your leader or using a barrel swivel? All right, folks, so here's what we got. We got a slow pitch jig with a solid ring on the end. So the idea of what the theory is, is that as you're dropping down, your jig's gonna flutter, right? But it's also gonna do a lot of spinning. So, it's gonna do a lot of spinning. And the issue that I hear about a lot of times is, oh, you're gonna get line twists when you hit the bottom and your line is going to essentially do that. So, that's the theory. But, let me show you what really happens because you don't really let your line stop and you've got a weighted jig, remember, so it's going to hold down. It's not me lifting up against it like I just showed you. So what really happens down underneath the water is as you're dropping, you've got this spin going on in one direction, right? And then let's say you bottom out, you come tight on your lure and all of a sudden you start pulling up on it, it spins back the other way. This is monofilament's natural reaction, is to act like a rubber band and elasticity of it will make it do that. So, as you can see, it's going to, you know, sort of retract. So you actually get extra spinning back the opposite way of when it made its descent on its ascent and you pull up on it, it's actually going to spin back the other way. Now, the theory behind using a barrel swivel like this on the end of your leader is that you have the freedom and it's going to just freely spin without any of that supposed line twist, which I just showed you won't happen because your lure is never really creeping back upwards and you're getting like sag in your leader. That just doesn't happen when you're jigging. You've got a way to jig, so your line's always staying tight. So, again, the theory is, is that your swivel, your barrel swivel will allow it to spin freely. But let me show you the reality of what really happens to this. So you're dropping your jig down and your jig is spinning in the water column as it drops. We'll just even give it a little bit more wind up and look at that. It's actually doing the same thing as solid ring is 
just to a little bit of a lesser extent because of the freedom of the s swivel action. But it still does twist your line. So the truth is, is they both kind of do the same thing as they're dropping down in the water. I figured this out through several tests and like I just showed you, I wanted to see what really happened for the reality of it if we weren't underwater. The reality is you get line twist, but it doesn't sort of create that figure eight line twist you get if your line has spun around a bunch of times and you pull it against itself. That will happen if you try it here on land. Underneath the water, it doesn't because you constantly have tension being put against your jig and the reel. So your line's always staying straight and it's always just spinning one way or the other. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're way out deep, over a thousand feet of water, 500 feet of water. Doesn't matter if you're in 200 feet of water or up in shallow, like, you know, over the 90 foot ledge of a reef. It does the same thing. It doesn't matter how much spinning it does. Your line isn't gonna back up and have line twist. Truth of the matter is, is it all depends upon what you prefer. If you feel more comfortable with that barrel swivel and you think it's gonna give you less of that little kink in your line, you go on ahead and you use a barrel swivel. If you like what I just showed you and you like more of that spinning action as it's on the ascent, then you probably wanna go with the solid ring. Again, massive amounts of jig. The proof is in the pudding. Hookup after hookup after hookup. I've caught numerous species slow jigging to be able to have this discussion and show you what I really think about these two methods of tying your leader on and your terminal tackle that attaches to your jig. King mackerel, black fin tuna. I have definitely caught my fair share of false albacore. I've caught giant red grouper. I've caught little fish like tiny sand tile fish. I've caught giant sharks. And of course, I've caught in my fair share of snappers like mutton snapper on them. Heck, I've even caught two mutton snappers at one time on a slow jig once. Pure fluke, but hey, it's happened. And so what I'm getting at is I've been questioned, hey, why don't you use a barrel swivel? We see you fishing with the solid ring. It's probably better you avoid this, the line twist. I don't really have that problem. I understand where you're coming from, but as I just showed you, that barrel swivel doesn't spin as freely as you necessarily think it's going to. It's just, what do you prefer more? Do you like the simplicity of the solid ring? Or do you think the barrel swivel is gonna, you know, sort of get it done more for you? The truth is, is it doesn't really matter. Now I understand this is just my personal opinion and a little bit of science mixed in like I showed you, along with, you know, personal experience and years worth of jigging. Didn't come up with this thought overnight. It's just a common question that I've heard people ask and I thought I would share what I think about it. Ultimately, it's dealer's choice when it comes to it. it they're both one and the same. Your line is gonna twist and spin, but guaranteed you're not gonna end up with line twist where you end up with a small tangle at the end of your leader while you're jigging. Another concern is the hookup ratio. The one thing that I have noticed though through experience is that using a barrel swivel just adds that little tiny extra bit of clankiness and hardware onto the end of your leader. Slow pitch jigging is about as much stealth as you can get because you're presenting an easy target for a fish that is at rest, your bottom fishing. So if you've got that microscopic little extra bit of hardware on there, it may detract from enticing the fish to feed. Whereas the solid ring is just that little bit less. When it comes to slow pitch jigging, I really believe every little bit counts. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed. Now I hope you learned a little bit about what I believe to be the truth between using a solid ring at the end of your leader or using a barrel swivel at the end of your leader when slow pitch jigging. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us. Oh, my God.